for but, us. Oh, it's, it's like separated the, by the highway. It's got the golden light coming through. Oh, I'm getting a lens Maserati, flare. Maserati, oh, so that nice. black car. <laughs> which is a lot of those. Oh, that's a nice house. Oh. Once again, that's sorry, I'm going to give you a silly bit. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Hello. It is our last day in Buffalo. I'm representing with my new apparel that my brother and Robin got me, which was ironically given to me after I talked about how crazy it was that everybody here has crazy bison and buffalo pride and they put it on everything. Um, but I wanted to show you guys their amazing old house that they live in. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. And there is what they call a sewing room here. Yeah. Mama's and Papa's yeah, together yeah. in the sewing room. Yep. <laughs> the extra decor. You don't get nice or anything? No, it's really cool. great, I know. Air conditioner in the window? Pro probably. It doesn't look like it goes up high enough, actually. Mm. I don't know. Those windows are new. I love these old houses because you can totally see if they were completely redone and updated, they would be incredible. There's another really cool house across the drive here. Love this house over here. You guys can see like right under the roof line here, there's these really cool supports with like the kind of scroll woodwork, which are really beautiful. And then I love this red one right across the drive here. You can tell that one's been a little bit more updated and then there's some more in the distance there. Okay, so my okay, brother told me that wall. there's allegedly a wall in the attic that's growing hair, which oh, is very bizarre. Um, well, maybe yeah, I'll give you guys so a close-up on this wall. wall right here, right on the outside. If you go on the side, you'll see it. I'll pull some hair out right now. It's all over. It's, you know, it's hair. Maybe that's just static from you guys being up here. No way, because it comes, you pull it out of the wall. I have to a body back there. Oh gosh, there is hair out of this wall. No, the wall's not thick enough to bury oh anybody. Do you see oh it, my gosh, right? like, you look, guys, I, this is getting morbid. Oh yeah, here, you can really get a real good sense of the hair wall right here. Oh, I just heard the rustle. Yeah, do you see it? Oh my gosh. I don't know why. Look at this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this literally looks like a scene out of some sort of horror movie. The second floor of the house is has been more appropriately restored. Yes. I would say. Um, I'll give you guys a quick tour from the brother's studio slash office. So you can see here, totally livable, very beautiful corner windows, and then nice little. They must have. Kind of updated the bathroom at some point. That one I think is, yeah, yeah, they updated with the pretty, tub and the tile. The tub and the tile the and the fixtures and everything. Love. Yeah, the floor needs some love, but but the rest of it's pretty good. And love these old staircases. And then family room, loving that. Gave him a tour of the. Uh, Attic. Oh, hello, come in. And a brand new kitchen. <laughs> and a Murphy. Hi, hi. a little bit of buffalo history mm -hmm. from Adam here. Uh, we are at the Forest Lawn Cemetery. Hopefully this doesn't offend anyone. We are being very cautious and very respectful around the graves. I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful this place is. It's huge. Do you know acreage size? I don't, but it's it's very large. It's in the middle of the city. Mm -hmm. It's so big you can't you can't see the edges of the cemetery from most of it. Yeah. So just a really beautiful place. There's a few lakes and a chapel, 
and just really beautiful stone bridges and there's all these different areas where I mean thousands and thousands of families um, have their memorials which is really amazing and we're standing behind or standing in front of one here so you can see they're pretty grandiose I would say the majority yeah, yeah, of them yeah very grandiose kind of and, yeah, um, but tons of really beautiful obelisks and tombs and oh, I'm forgetting the name of the small um, like chapel houses, what are those called? Like, uh, mausoleum. Mausoleum. I was blanking, mausoleums. Um, but yeah, so we are enjoying a bike ride. They really promote this place as a park, as a public area for people to rest Come and take rest. sanctum and solitude mm -hmm. and so Adam's giving me a tour. made it to Rust Belt Books, which is this incredible bookstore that is one of Adam's favorites. And it's just kind of in this old shop area, just wall-to-ceiling books everywhere you look. And there's really cool um, old kind of um, foliax, filofax drawers. And within them are things that the shop owners have found inside of the books, which I think is really cool that they kept them in these drawers and you can kind of go through and see what people left behind. Sister Robin's Buffalo Art Dispensary, also known as BAD, B A D, at Rust Belt Books. 50 cents for art, fresh from the dispensary. Ooh, a nice periwinkle cap, approved. Shall we open it together? Kind of tough, squeeze the. Got it, got it, got it. Adam go. with the assist. All right, here we go. Now we look at it together. What is it here? What do you see? What do you see? You Flip it to? over. No, it's that. Oh. I swear that's my handwriting. I think that is my handwriting. Let me check it out. This is me. Oh my gosh. Chrissy, my sister got one that I made. No. How is that possible? How is that possible? <laughs> this place is magical. It's magical. I can't even believe it. <laughs> wow. That's so cool. That is beyond. I can't even. I can't even make sense of that. <laughs> we got our art. I don't even know. I love it. Oh, a beautiful afternoon in Buffalo. Scattered clouds, lovely breeze. What is this coming around the corner? Oh, it's my children in a large Chevy van. Hmm. Breaking up the thing. And the loveliest, the princess of the world. You guys could sell bikes somewhere. Any comments on Buffalo as a writing? I survived the inaugural bike ride of this decade because I'm pretty sure I haven't ridden a bike since the early 2000s. And yeah, it was just a really nice afternoon. Unfortunately, my DSLR died, which is why some of the footage was shot on my iPhone, but in hindsight, probably a lot safer for me to just hold my phone up on some of those riding shots than to try to hold this up. That would have been very difficult. We are now back uptown or east town or downtown somewhere exploring. At the corner of Windspear and Maine in Buffalo and my brother and Robin have taken us to one of their favorite candy spots called Parkside for a little ice cream. Oh, we died. 
dying in here. Mom, what did you find? What are you finding, Mom? Pecan. Pecan. Oh, they're lollipops. Oh my gosh. They're beautiful. With sour balls. Yeah. Can you get a ice cream? Can you get ice cream? Okay, I'll go look at the ice cream. Okay, if I could just move in here, that would be ideal. If I could just set up a bed and like a little kitchenette. Okay. Yeah. And then you would just wake up every day with a smell. And you could just live and work inside of this. Place. It's just been sweet and chocolatey. Where you would just smell the most wonderful smells in the world all day. I would very much like to live here. Oh my gosh, look at the duck. Oh my gosh. How is it, Mom? Good. Where's your fudge, Dad? Right here, right here. You want a bag? Yeah, if I could, Dad, I appreciate it. Bye, thank you. This is uh, all the detail on all this. I know, it's so amazing. All right, Mr. Jeff. Hey, I'm going in there. That's Murphy, by the way. Murphy, you look like you're having a ball. Murphy, Jeff. I'm so glad you brought me. Do some reading. Yeah, they just got a grant to. Yeah. It's on me. I guess it's on the internet. It's on Tuesday in the paper. Oh, yeah. I see so many tears in people's eyes. It's so it's a beautiful landmark. Yeah. The city should take it. I don't want to leave. I'm very quiet. Oh, I'm sad that someone doesn't want to leave either. But yet. I'm not going to see you for a long time. Move. I don't want to go. Well, you want to stay, and then you can fly to New York from here. <laughs> That's what Dad thought I was doing, but I think Try he didn't not. realize. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is this your farewell video? So I was just going to film. Aww. The you Buffalo outro. Sadness that you're leaving. No. The bubble bows. Bye, Bobos. Bye, Bobos. Bye, Bobos. Yes, because you ate a whole jar of peanut butter. Bye, Bobos. Bye, Bobos. I love you. I love you. Kissy, kissy, kissy. You should give me a dozen kisses for all the treats you got. That would have been fun. I am full of delicious taco soup and ice cream because that happened. Wow, to just. See, I think it is. It's really beautiful in night mode. Canon G7X plug, not sponsored, but I'm open to it. Bowie, Bo 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 <laughs> Bowie wants to come with you guys. <laughs> Bowie's like, I'm ready to go. Highlight from the weekend. But the sister bike ride. Woo! Buffalo tour, bookstore, old neighborhood, coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> we were hanging out. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Biking through Buffalo. <laughs> Checking out the garden. No helmets. No uh, helmets. No fear. <laughs> no fear. <laughs> um, Thank you. Give me a month. No more than a month. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, I would like today. to be here oh, the, oh, we got to do teaching yes, until August 30th. Or or so I came. It's hard to tell. But, but yeah, there's Labor Day and stuff. Felicia's coming. I'm going to miss my sister. All right, I'm gonna come in on you. Okay. We could do is have a video in. Bye, bye, second. Buffalo. Bye, Drurys. Love bye. you. Bye. Text me when you get home.